Robomate Plus, India's largest curriculum based study app. Download the app now. Hello friends, let us start with the chapter Cylinder, Cone and Sphere. Now in this chapter, we are going to study surface area and volume of these three objects that is cylinder, cone and sphere. So let us get started with the first object. Now the first object that we are going to learn here is a right circular cylinder. As I said, we are going to discuss surface area and volume of this right circular cylinder. So the first aspect that we are going to study is surface area. For that, first let us see the examples of a right circular cylinder. So the wheels of this road roller, these wheels are in the shape of right circular cylinder. Other examples are these round pipes which we have here and next we have these cylindrical candles here. So these are the examples of right circular cylinder. Now if we have to discuss surface area of a right circular cylinder, first we need to know the various surfaces of a right circular cylinder. So remember my dear students, a right circular cylinder has three surfaces or three faces. Let us understand these faces with the help of this image here. So here we have a right circular cylinder. Now students, if you understand the top surface and the bottom surface of this cylinder are circular. So we have two circular faces that is the top circular face and if you turn this downwards the bottom circular face. So these are the first two faces. The next face, let's understand the third face now. The third face here is this wall of the cylinder and my dear students in geometry we call this wall as the curved surface. So this is a curved face because when we curve a plane this face is formed. Hence it is known as a curved face. So these are the three faces of a right circular cylinder. Now out of these three faces let us see first how to find out the area of the curved face. So that is our next point of discussion. Now to get this area you need the radius of the cylinder. Now, what do we mean by radius of the cylinder? So as I said the top face and the bottom face is a circle. Each circle has a particular radius. Now the top face and the bottom face here are equal circles that is their size is same. So whatever is the radius of the top face or of the bottom face this is known as the radius of the cylinder. We need one more dimension here that is the height of the cylinder. Now what is the meaning of the height of the cylinder? So technically the height of the cylinder is the distance between the center of the top circular face and the bottom circular face. This distance between the center of the top circular face and the bottom circular face is known as the height of the cylinder and it is denoted by h. So we have the radius of the cylinder and we have the height of the cylinder. Now we will be able to express the area of the curved surface. So let us go to this curved surface area which is abbreviated as CSA. Now how to find this curved surface area? So my dear students for that let us understand this small demonstration. Here I have a rectangular sheet of paper and the length of the sheet of paper is denoted by L, breadth of the sheet of paper is denoted by B. Now my dear students if I take this sheet and if I roll it the way I have shown here in the animation what we get is the curved surface of a cylinder. So my dear students the curved surface of a cylinder is originally a rectangular sheet. And therefore what I can say is the curved surface area of this cylinder is nothing but the area of the original rectangular sheet. So further the curved surface area of the cylinder will be equal to we know how to find out area of a rectangular sheet. Formula is length into breadth. So the curved surface area of the cylinder becomes length into breadth 
of this rectangular sheet. Now further, this curved surface area will be equal to, now remember students, when we are rolling the sheet, the length becomes the circumference for the cylinder as highlighted here. So when the sheet is rolled, L will become the circumference and you know the formula for circumference, it is 2 pi r. So here L will be replaced by 2 pi r. Now further, what happens to breadth when we are forming the curved surface of the cylinder? So let us see this. Now the breadth becomes the height of the cylinder. So it will be replaced by h. So the final formula for curved surface area of the cylinder is 2 pi r into h. That is 2 pi r h. I hope you understood this. Now let's proceed further. Next, let us go for total surface area of the cylinder. Now what do we mean by total surface area? As we discussed, there are three surfaces here. When you add the areas of all the three surfaces, you get the total surface area. So now let us see how we get the formula of total surface area. Remember, we have to add the areas of the three surfaces. Out of which the first one is the curved surface area of the cylinder. Plus, as we discussed, there are two circular faces. So plus the area of the two circular faces. So in the next step now, curved surface area, we just derived the formula. It is 2 pi r into h, that is 2 pi r h, plus how to get the area of the two circular faces. So since the two circles here are of the same size, area of the two circular faces will be 2 into area of one circular face. Now, 2 into area of one circular face has to be solved in the next step. So in the next step, this is equal to 2 pi r h plus 2 into area of one circular face. How do you get area of a circular face? It is nothing but area of a circle. And the basic formula for area of a circle is pi r square. So the second part becomes here 2 into pi r square. So we get 2 pi r h plus 2 into pi r square. If you observe these two terms, we have 2 pi r common. So in the next step, when you take 2 pi r common, what is left inside the bracket is h plus r which can be written as r plus h and the final formula for total surface area of a cylinder is 2 pi r into r plus h. I hope you understood the second formula. Now let us go for the last formula related to this that is volume of the cylinder. Now how do you get volume of the cylinder? So the formula for volume of the cylinder is area of the base multiplied by height. So this in the next step. Now area of the base. Since the base is a circular face, we just discussed area of this base is going to be equal to pi r square. Now this pi r square, if you multiply by height, that is h, entire volume is formed. So the formula for volume of the cylinder will be pi r square multiplied by h. And final formula of the volume will be pi r square h. I hope you understood all these formulae. In the next module, we will see sums based on cylinder. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video lecture. To watch more such interesting videos, attempt tests, and to get instant analysis, download the RoboBait Plus app now.